something really got our attention this week about President-elect Trump's plans for inauguration. This is what inauguration chair Tom Barrick said on Tuesday. We're fortunate in that I feel we have the greatest celebrity in the world, which is the president-elect. And side by side with that is the current president that we have, who's also a great celebrity. So what we've done instead of trying to surround it with what people consider A-listers, is say what we're going to surround it with is the soft sensuality of the place. Yes, soft sensuality is the phrase. We talked to spokesman Boris Epstein to get some more details. So your inaugural committee chair said that Mr. Trump's inauguration would have a quote-unquote soft sensuality. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that this inaugural is all about the American people. It's all about being united, coming together, and celebrating this wonderful moment, this partisan transfer of power between one party to another that's really historic and is the bedrock of our wonderful democracy. Are you still reaching out to artists for the inaugura inauguration? Oh, not at all, not at all. We've had a wonderful outpouring of support from the American people, people all over the world, and performers and entertainers. But this inaugural is all about the people. It's not about any, any one entertainer, any one celebrity, but we're all set in terms of uh, who we have performing. We'll be, you know, we've already put a lot of information out there. Jackie Ivanka, wonderful young talent, will be singing the national anthem. Her record sales have gone through the roof since she was announced as the national anthem singer for the swearing-in ceremony. The Mormon Tabernacle Choir, their sixth inaugural. The Rockettes, who represent the very best of America, their third inaugural. And we'll be putting some more information out over the next coming days as well. All right. Boris Epstein, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Elaine. Have a great day.